What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode on FIFA 19. I keep saying another episode, this isn't an episode of anything. This is just a FIFA 19 video. We are due to get Argentina today. EA France already leaked what's coming, uh, which is quite sad. We do get a mega pack on National Elf. Uh, no, no new marquee matchups. I'm hoping we get some Champions League content today. Let's see if EA gave it to us. Mm, doesn't look like it, but Alejandro Gomez was leaked. Um, 90 rated, 95 pace, 94 dribbling, 90 passing. Now, straight away, his face card stats look great. Insane pace and dribbling and brilliant passing with good shooting. The biggest issue I have for this card specifically, and one of the reasons why I didn't like the Martinez weekly objective card, and one of the reasons why I think Messi gets overlooked a lot in this game, is he's just too small. Um, at 5'5 five, five there, 4 star, 4 star is great. And look at, oh my god, that is fantastic. I, I mean, you know what? That is brilliant. You Any chem style that... I, I personally would probably put either a marksman or a dead eye on him. Uh, boost shooting and passing or shooting physical and um, dribbling. And yeah, that, that is... A, or, or sorry, is it maestro? Shooting, passing and dribbling. Sorry, yeah. That is a fantastic card. It is three segments... Before we get into Alejandro Gomez, let's look at what else we have got. So these are just the, the stuff that's already been there. Um, these have already been there. This has already been there. And then the icon that's come is supposedly Zanetti's CDM card. And there's his loan card. And let's have a look at what it's actually going to cost to do Zanetti. How many segments is it going to be? Wait, did I miss him again? Is it after all of this? Why is it after all of this? There he is, Zanetti. Uh, Ten segments. Humble beginnings, rising talent, world class, and iconic as per usual. Um, and then an 83 with two informs, an 84 the same, an 85, an 86, an 87, and an 88 with no informs. So only two, four, six, eight, ten informs in total. It's not bad. It's going to be about a million, maybe a million two. Um, if you already have the icon, that'll bring it down massively. Am I going to do it? Not necessarily, but I'll tell you something, guys. This card. A lot of people look at his 53 jumping and are turned off. I don't think it's necessarily a huge issue uh, just because air balls are terrible. It, last year, uh, like last year specifically, I would have said this is actually a really, really bad stat for him F as a CDM. Forget the fullback cards. And the reason why I would have said that last year this was a really bad stat for him is because last year, specifically goal kicks with the way you used to be able to position them and stuff, you could just, you could prioritize putting the ball on him and knowing that your midfield would probably win the aerial duel because he's jumping so low but this year with the way goal kicks are goal kicks get pushed out to the left back or the right back or people bring them in short and pass it short people don't punt the ball into the midfield anymore because the aerial battles are so random and the goal kick power is so random and in general for crossing he's not going to be the guy that's trying to win your headers because of the way crossing works it's going to be your fullbacks so his jumping for me isn't really an issue and i love this card great pace his passing is already so good and his crossing too. His dribbling is really good. His defending is really good. His physical is really good. Uh, you know, you put an anchor chem style on this card and you've got yourself a top, top end CDM for about a million coins. And I think much like with um, Del Piero yesterday, I think this is much better value for coins. Let's have a look what his, um, what his market price is right now. Uh, what are we saying? I, th I think he's like 1.7 if I remember correctly. Yeah, 1.7. There you go. Bang on 1.7. And the fact that you're going to be able to do his SBC for nearly half that price, I think that's great. I genuinely think that's great. So those are the SBCs that are out. It doesn't look like, sadly, he have given us anything else. We have National Wealth, of course. Yeah, that's it. That That's really sad. I, I was really hoping for some Champions League content. It doesn't look like we've got any Champions League content. And that sucks. Um, let's see what uh, what promo packs are undoubtedly in store. Rare Megas. Uh, we'll open the Rare Megas. Before we get into Alejandro Gomez, let's open these six Rare Megas. Maybe I can pack my first Carnival player. We do get a walkout as well. It's not a Carnival. That's too bad. Cristiano Ronaldo would be nice. Suarez. Godin. Ah, still pretty good. 90 rated. Um, but uh, yeah. Oh, wait. There's an Icon Upgrade Zanetti as well. Oh, I forgot about that because he already has the... Uh... Yeah, he already... Oh, huge. Koulibaly in there as well. That's fantastic. 90 rated um, Koulibaly, sorry, 90 rated uh, Godin and 88 Koulibaly in there. That is very, very good. Second rare mega pack. No walkout in this one. We're going to skip through if there's no walkout. I want to get over to that uh, Alejandro Gomez. 
Do we get a cheeky little win form or something? No, we get Sidibe in there. And uh, Neto will keep Zaza not worth anything now. He was selling for 7k yesterday because of the 50k pack. Selling for nothing now. Four more rare mega packs to go. Uh, let's see what we can get. One more walkout. Man, we got two walkouts. Two huge walkouts in the first pack. Sadly, didn't really bring us much after that. What do we get in this one? Man, don't adjust your sets either. It Like, my Xbox is just so old that for some reason, every time I open a pack, it just lags. Funny, because I watch Capgun Tom as well. And when he wins draft... Or when he finishes in draft, sometimes he can't claim the rewards. And it's just really weird. Like, it just freezes. And then it's an Xbox issue, I assume. Um, but yeah, the, the the lag here. It's not you. It's not me. It's not my internet. Nothing like that. It is literally just my Xbox being old and crap. Um, right, we've got two more of these. And I want to go and get into that Gomez card, guys. Uh, see what the packs returned are. Get up on Fuckbin and, and have a look at what the average price is. I'm, I'm very, very intrigued to see what that Zanetti settles in at. Um, the upgrade for Zanetti. Um, oh my god, you've got to be kidding. The upgrade for Zanetti is nearly the same. It, it, it's genuinely nearly the That is outrageous. Can we end with a walkout? No, the, the upgrade... Guys, the, the Zanetti's regular is an 88, an 87, an 86, an 85, an 84, an 83... The icon, the um, humble beginnings, rising talent, world class, and then Zanetti. Look, I mean, I'll show you. This, this is. We will get to that Gomez card in a second, guys. I apologise, but this is really, really sad. Really sad. This. It was supposed to be a benefit, you know, it, because EA released these prime moments. That it was supposed to be a case where it was like, oh, hey, if you did the icon already as the prime, we're gonna give you an opportunity to use that but they just haven't so for Zanetti humble beginnings rising talent world class iconic 83 84 with two informs 85 86 with two informs 87 88 with no informs Zanetti upgrade humble beginnings rising talent world class prime icon Zanetti in this segment here and then an 83 with two informs an 84 with two informs an 85 and an 86 with two informs and an 87 with two informs Just when you thought EA were going down a good path, they managed to screw it up. Just really screw up. It is going to be genuinely more expensive to complete the upgrade version of Zanetti, even if you have Icon Zanetti, because of the two informs and such, than just doing the regular Zanetti. That is just so stupid. Like, beyond any kind of reasonable doubt. That is stupid. Let's have a look at... Go I'm now expecting Gomez to be ridiculous as well. An 86 rated squad an 80 and 285 rated. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yesterday, they had it so right. Yesterday, they gave that Bonaventura card for 284 rated squads. He was a, a, a good card, a, a usable card, a well-rounded card for under 100,000 coins. They also gave... Um, they also gave... Uh, Icon Del Piero, who's coming in at about 1.4, 1.3 million coins. Brilliant. Now, they're bringing us a, a Zanetti Prime Icon moments, which is great value. It looks like he's coming in at about a million coins. And then an upgrade Zanetti that's probably going to be more expensive. And then an Alejandro Gomez that is really, really likely to be stupidly expensive. A rare Electron Players pack, a Prime Gold pack, and a Mega pack. You don't even get a 50k pack out of it. Honestly... Honestly, EA, this like this is going to be like a 400k SBC. I am very tempted to not even do this SBC. And the reason why is because although the card is good, I won't use him on my this account. And I, I think already the Serie A is 150. The 85 is 120. That's already 370. And then another... Wait, isn't it an 86 for this one? An 86. You're honestly going to be looking at... Maybe like 400 to 450,000 coins. I am not wasting coins on this SBC. I'm sorry, but EA, you have got this one incredibly wrong. Incredibly wrong. Not, oh, yeah, not just Gomez, but also, um, also Zanetti's upgrade. Massively wrong. It's very rare. Like, there's been a lot of icons that I haven't done for because I just don't want them in my squad, right? Like, that you know, they I just don't want to waste that many coins on an icon because the squad that I have. As you'll see, 
not a team of the year team. Um, you, well, you can't see because my face is there. But this is my team. So, like, you know, that Zanetti doesn't fit into my team. Although he actually wouldn't be bad over instead of a Michael Balak there. I, I might prefer Zanetti over Balak. But, um, you know, Ruud van Nistelrooy doesn't fit into my team. Clarence Sadoff doesn't fit into my team. My team is absolutely mental. Um, so I'm waiting for prime icon moments. Hullet or Cruyff or Vieira or someone that's going to be an utter game changer for me. Eusebio, Ronaldo, something like that, right? That's why I'm not doing the, um, the icon moments. However, with the other SBCs, with the other player SBCs, you'll see in my club that I have done most, if not all of them. I know I didn't do Gareth Bale's Team of the Year card, but look, I did Hazard, De Bruyne, Royce, David Silva, Van Dijk, Ibrahimovic and Torres, another version of Royce, Tony Kroos, Isco, Casillas. We're just filled with millions of coins wasted on loads and loads and loads of these SBC cards for content reasons, right? To make videos, to give my opinions on these cards, for, to show you guys um, ways to build them and stuff. There's only been a few that I've turned around and said, I'm not doing that for. And this is going to be another one of those ones, that Gomez, because it is extortionately priced. And EA have just got it massively, massively wrong. It is coming in at 270,000 coins without the 86-rated squad. And I'm sorry, let's even assume the 86-rated comes in at 130,000 coins and it's 400k. You know what you could buy for 400k? Let me show you what you could buy for 400k. Um, let's go here. Let's put our min price at 500, max price at 400,000. I think Messi is here. I think Messi is available for 400k. Champions League, Luis Suarez. Champions League, in Form 92, Luis Suarez is there as well. Um, let's go for the highest rated players. Or is that already the highest rated players? Yeah, it is. Uh, Delict, Sergio Ramos, Champions League card. You could buy icons for 400k. Kevin De Bruyne at 169. Eden Hazard's in there as well. So Messi isn't quite there, but he must be close. You could buy a prime icon moment, Bobby Moore. I think that's his prime icon moment for 400k. Let, let's get let's get the position the same. The centre forwards and strikers, live item Edison Cavani, Lewandowski, Van Basten's icon card, um, Chiro Immobile and Mauro Icardi carnival cards. All of these are way better options. Sergio Aguero Champions League card much better. Um, Antoine Griezmann or Dybala team of the group stage cards much better. Like they they're just they're tradable, they're usable. They're you know that Gomez card is decent, but for an untradable card that's going to cost you nearly if not more than, yeah, 410k is coming in at. 410k. Just no. I'm just literally no. I'm not wasting those coins on that card. We will finish with National Wealth. We're going to need two Germans, one club max three, same league, minimum four, rare players four, exactly gold team chemistry. So this one's super easy. You just got to do a full Bundesliga squad and you're golden. Um, it has to be gold only. We need a few rares and a few Germans, and we should be able to kick two birds with one stone with the goalkeeper spot. There you go. All right in there. Happy days. Um, same club was... Wait, how many rare players was it? German players, minimum two. Rare players, minimum four. I'll, I'll probably be able to get the the rares just naturally anyway without forcing them. Um, let's go for... There you go. There's another German and another rare. There's another rare. And so, same league, minimum four. So, I need one more rare and then just one club, maximum three. So, once let, let's go to uh, low to high for the golds and start putting in all of the commons, especially untradables that I've got. That's like banging, that is. Uh, he can go in, he can go in. We are going to need one more rare, another untradable there, which is perfect. Another untradable there, which is perfect. Uh, another untradable, which is absolutely perfect. And then, last but not least. We'll throw in untradeable. Hello. Um, I know I've got more rares than needed. Only by one mind. But there you go. Nice and easy for a mega pack. That is a good value SBC 100%. You're probably looking at 7k, 8k for a mega pack. Brilliant. I'm a big fan of that. Um, I I'm very interested to see what Zanetti's uh, SBC is coming at. So his upgrade, yeah. So he, he hasn't come in yet. The, the, the SBCs aren't calculated yet. But... Let's open this mega pack, guys. This is going to be the end of the video for now. I'm going to be back later on today with a 193 draft challenge attempt. Hopefully, I can hit one today. Please, EA. Um, my mega pack, sadly, not filled with anything useful. Jesse Lingard as our best player. And uh, let me know what you guys think about this, um, this Gomez in the comment section below. For me, as I say, personally, 
it's a big, big L from EA on this one. Uh, this is just horrendous value for coins. Um, but thank you for watching today. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Let me know if you do that SBC as well. This is the end of the video, and I will see you later for a 193 draft challenge. I'm out. Peace. Still here. It's